first one I'm going to talk about today is what uh, about charge. So Q equals I T. Okay. So just putting all these uh, letters and explaining what they are. So Q, of course, is charge. So charge, of course, uh, is all to do with electrostatics, electric fields. This is the current in a circuit. And this, of course, is the time. So what they're saying here is if I had a, a wire and I have my current flowing, so this is my current flowing, okay, here, if I was looking at this point here, okay, if I knew how many, how much current was flowing over how long, I could know how much charge is at this point or has crossed over that point, okay? So this here is, if I just find a thingy, there you go. This here, this formula is really important. So let me actually talk about the units that this is. So we know about this one here, this is current and this is in amps, okay? So this is all about the current, the flow of electrons around a circuit. Of course, this is in seconds and this here is in something called coulombs also known as the letter C, capital C, okay? Now, you will see C again uh, as capacitance, but what we're going to talk about here, that is capacitance is sort of like if you had Q, I, T, C is the unit for charge, okay? So why don't we go at using this? So let's actually say that I had uh, a wire and inside I had five amps, and I'm looking at, so five amps is passing this point here, and I want to know how much charge passes this point in seven milliseconds, okay? So this is the current, that is the time, and I want to know how long, I'm looking, I'm looking at this point here, and I want to know how much charge passes here in five milliseconds. So pause the video and have a quick go. Okay, so uh, five, so you've got, here, I've got Q equals I times T. So I've got I, 5, times 7, and it's milli, so it's going to be times 10 to the minus 3. So 5 times 7 times 10 to the minus 3. I know passing this point is 0 0.035 coulombs of charge passes that point in 7 milliseconds. Okay. Now, here's another question for you. I want to have this same amount of charge, but I want to know what is the current going to have to be if I want that amount of charge to pass this point in 1.2 milliseconds. So I want to know what current I'm going to need to have the same amount of charge pass here in a much smaller time. Have a go. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got Q equals I T, okay, and I is going to be Q divided by T. So my charge is 0 0.035 over my time, which is 1.2 times 10 to the minus 3, because remember it's milliseconds, okay. So I've got my charge here, and I'm about 1.2. When I use milli, I'm going to use this thing down here, and then times 10 to the minus 3. The reason it does this, this means the calculator knows that times 10 is attached to that. If you do it a different way, sometimes some calculators don't realize that. And so I'm going to need 29.2 amps of current. So I'm going to, to make more of this charge in a smaller time, I'm going to need more flow of current passing. And there we have it. That is just the basics of using Q equals IT, using the um, things here and having a go at using the formulae.